when talking about care and maintenance of the ukulele, the first thing that you need to be aware of, obviously, is that this is made of wood and it can crack very easily if you're not careful with it. So um, I'm coming from the context, of course, of teaching a bunch of um, elementary and middle year students in uh, large classes with a lot of ukuleles. So make sure that you're not bumping your ukulele on chairs or stands or other people's ukuleles if you're sitting near them. Be very careful because the body of the ukulele and the strings and everything, they can be quite um, breakable just because of the material they're made out of. As you are learning how to tune your ukulele, okay, so for care and maintenance of the strings, you have to be careful to watch your tuner closely and make sure that you are not cranking, especially um, towards the tight end, your strings because the strings only have um, a certain amount of tension that they are designed to take um, before they will just snap. So if a string snaps, that's okay, bring it to me, bring it to your music teacher and we'll restring it for you. Um, but please be careful not to crank the tuning pegs. As well, don't crank the tuning pegs just to be funny, that is annoying and it wastes a lot of time in class. Um, so you need to, again, be careful of the body and the fact that this is made of wood, so you wanna make sure that you're not dropping it on the floor or stepping on it or bumping it into things. You have to be careful with the tuning pegs that you're not cranking or loosening your pegs, um, your strings too much, especially cranking them tight is going to snap the strings. Now, as we are getting into the colder months, fall starts on Wednesday and then winter is coming you want to make sure that you are never ever leaving a ukulele in a vehicle okay if you live in a super warm climate I don't know who's gonna end up watching these videos if you live in a super warm climate or if, if you're watching this video in the summer um, you don't want it to get too hot it can warp the wood it can loosen the glue um, it can really make the tuning funky if you uh, live in a cold climate like we do you want to make sure that you're not leaving it in the vehicle because the the extreme below zero temperatures that we get here will absolutely crack the wood as well as it will weaken a lot of the seams and the construction will fail if it is left out in the cold and then if you leave it in the cold and you bring it in that change in temperature is going to be pretty drastic and it is not good for the instrument and as I record this we are also back to school in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic so there is the issue of um, sanitizing the ukuleles there's nothing that is very safe for the ukuleles in terms of protecting the instrument to clean it but we have been using a sanitizing spray which we will never ever directly um, spray onto the instrument it's terrible for the finish so what we are doing is we're taking a little piece of paper towel and we're spraying the towel with a sanitizing spray and then we are wiping down all of the surfaces that we have touched so that we can share all of these lovely instruments between the classes. Um, the There is a recommendation out for um, guitars that maybe Lysol wipes are an okay option, but uh, disclaimer, I am not a professional on the safety of sanitizing the instruments, but please do make sure that if you are in one of my classes and you're watching this video, that you're never using our sanitizing spray directly onto the ukulele. You wanna spray a paper towel and then wipe off the strings and you know the tuning pegs and all down the fretboard and anything that you've been touching. And um, other than that, treat it like a baby because it is fragile and it can break. So um, if you take good care of your ukulele, you're not cranking the tuning pegs, you're not bumping it into things, you're not leaving it in extreme temperatures, you should have a lovely in-tune and safe and healthy ukulele for a long time.